Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. Thank you for joining me in my quest to find out more about all of the states and territories of the United States. This is episode 20 of our series, one in which we're going to explore Maryland. If you wish to check out the rest of the states, click on the playlist appearing now. And don't forget to subscribe as I upload a new video every Wednesday and Saturday. Now, let's see what Maryland has to offer. Maryland was one of the original 13 colonies, having been founded by Sir George Calvert, also known as Lord Baltimore, in 1632. It is considered to be the birthplace of religious freedom in America, as it was intended to be a refuge for persecuted Catholics in England. Later, Maryland would become the seventh state to ratify the United States Constitution and play the crucial role in the founding of the capital city of the newly formed Union, as Washington DC was established on land donated by the state. Sir Calvert left his stamp all over Maryland, from the state flag that includes his family colors to the city of Baltimore itself. The state seal of Maryland was taken from Lord Baltimore's family crest and, as such, it includes his family motto. Today, however, this motto is not really a reason of pride, but rather of embarrassment. The motto is Fati Maschi Parole Femine. Literally translated, this means manly deeds, womanly words. It might have been okay to say this four centuries ago, but today it's simply considered to be a sexist and discriminating remark. The motto has been rephrased as strong deeds, gentle words, which is better, but it's not really what it means. Although a northern state, Maryland can technically be viewed as part of the south. The Mason-Dixon line cuts right between Maryland and Pennsylvania, and it was in fact created to resolve a border dispute between Maryland, Pennsylvania and Delaware. At the time, this didn't seem to be a big deal, but later, as slavery was being abolished and eventually the Civil War broke out, this line came to be acknowledged as the border between the North and the South. The line became popular after the Missouri Compromise, a political deal which stated the line to be the border between slave territory and free territory. Maryland's state anthem is really something to behold. The song, which is sung to the tune of O Tannenbaum, was written by a Confederate sympathizer during the Civil War and is essentially one long, bitter rant against Abraham Lincoln and the North. There's no room for misinterpretation here. The song calls for Maryland to fight the Union and was used across the South during the Civil War as a battle hymn. Due to its origin in reaction to the Baltimore riot of 1861 and the author's support for the Confederacy, it includes lyrics that refer to President Abraham Lincoln as the tyrant, the despot and the vandal, and to the Union as northern scum, as well as referring to the phrase Six Semper Tyrannis, which was the slogan later shouted by Marylander John Wilkes Booth when he assassinated Lincoln. For these reasons, occasional attempts have been made to replace it as Maryland State Song, but to date, all such attempts have met with failure. The famous Ouija board was created in Maryland. The creator, Elijah Bond, named his creation by asking it what it wanted to be called. Allegedly, the board spelled out Ouija. It was originally regarded as a simple game unrelated to the occult until American spiritualist Pearl Curran popularized its use as a divining tool during World War I. Some Christian rites have warned against using Ouija boards holding that they can lead to demonic possessions. This view is even shared by some occultist sects and caution inexperienced users against it. Obviously, there are no scientific studies to prove this, and the Ouija board remains one of the most popular and well-known board games in the world. As is the case in most states, the most well-known city is not its capital. In this case, Baltimore is not the capital city of Maryland. That honor goes to Annapolis, a city of less than 40,000 people. 
To be fair, this city was designated as a temporary capital of the entire United States between 1783 and 1784. Baltimore, on the other hand, is much more well-known and is much larger with a population of 620,000 people, almost as big as Washington, D.C. One island that must be visited by animal lovers is Assateague Island. Here, you'll find herds of feral ponies that have lived here for hundreds of years, eating dune grass and drinking pond water. The traditional definition of a horse or a pony is based on whether the animal in question falls over or under 147 centimeters. The equines on this island tend to be under 147, but have the looks of a regular horse. It is argued that their relatively small size is primarily due to environmental rather than genetic conditions. So, whether the animals are true ponies or just small, strange horses is still up for debate, but I think everyone can agree that they're just simply great. So these were 7 facts about Maryland. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. You'll find hundreds of other videos on my channel, so be sure to check it out. Leave your thoughts downstairs in the comment section to let me know what you think. If you wish to support this channel even more, visit my Patreon page and become a Patron. Any contribution is greatly appreciated. I hope to see you next time. Bye.